corporate board and director training has faded in and out as a governance priority over the years. A decade ago, some of the big proxy advisory firms graded boards on the training given their members, but ISS and the others lost interest in the topic, and boards did likewise. Now, one reason may have been the lack of overall value in most board education programs. Director education, quote unquote, as practiced by the big national governance groups or business schools, tends to work along a few specific lines. There will be discussion on fiduciary duties and corporate legalities. You get a case history on what went wrong at Enron or at Steinhoff in South Africa or other hot scandals depending on the country. You're told directors need to be brave, upright, and ethical, and at the end you get a suitable for framing certificate. Sort of like the validation the Wizard of Oz gave the Scarecrow. Now aside from the shallowness of all of this, it misses the mark on training directors for what they'll actually need to know and when they'll actually need to know it. Missing governance knowledge usually doesn't find a board member asking herself, how can I fulfill my fiduciary duties, but instead, how the hell do we get out of this jam we're in? Stress points in board service can come from any number of directions. They're often very sudden and unexpected. Here's one example. You get a call that a major accounting irregularity has been found or maybe the SEC has sent a subpoena, or insider trading's been uncovered. You'll need to launch a board internal investigation. Now the phrase board investigation is sort of like the word chemotherapy. No one ever wants to hear it, but when you need to know, it's urgent. And boards have to hope that legal counsel can give them a fast training on the topic. So how can you get the board education that really meets your needs? Well, first, as a Boardroom Insider subscriber, you can search our 22-year database of articles on board and governance topics and assemble and download an instant report on what you'll need. But also, make internal training a regular board agenda item. The chair should consider adding a what-if exercise at each board meeting. If this issue were to arise right now, what would we do? What resources would we need? Never give up on training your board. I'm Ralph Ward from the boardroom for May.